Hi guys and welcome to Stuff You Should Buy. This is Harry and today we're having a look at the Pendo Pad 7. This is a cheapie that I picked up for $59 I think it was from our local Target down our way here. Now this is an Android uh, tablet. It's a 7 inch. Runs Android 4.4 as you can see there. A KitKat and you, know, you get your apps from the Google Play Store. It's got a quad core processor. Turn it over just so you can have a quick look here. A little bit of info, 7 inch as I said, 1024 by 600. The resolution isn't too crash hot, but it's, you know, I mean for the price, $59, come on. 0.3 megapixel front facing camera, 2 megapixel rear camera, nothing crash hot there again either. And you're all wondering now, wonder why on earth did you get this if it's not so crash hot? And I will tell you in the end. 8 gig storage and 1 gigabyte RAM. I'm assuming the 1 gigabyte RAM is on, on board. You know what I mean? Drives it. Bluetooth 4.0, GPS. It's got GPS, believe it or not. Uh, micro USB and micro SD inputs. Supports up to 32 gigs, as you can see there. Uh, 1.3 gigahertz quad core processor. It's got a mini HDMI output and an FM radio. So let's just get on with the unboxing. All right, so we'll just open it up. I haven't opened this before. I have no idea other than what I was told that it could do and the reason I purchased this and I'm not going to do it here this is just an unboxing so you guys can see but the reason I got this is it's going to be a wonderful reference monitor for my camera so when I'm shooting I can connect the HDMI to this and I can see whatever the camera is seeing and I can actually control it as well isn't that crazy it's great because there's an Android app that lets you do that again I'll put a link at the bottom of the description in this video when I have done the uh, review on that and showing how it all works so you guys can see how it runs if, if any of you are interested in that if not then pretty much get to see it as a tablet some people might just want a tablet okay so opening it up here as we can see it's got some nice wrapping it's beautiful that feels pretty good I mean you know it, it's well wrapped actually let's just pop that to the side gently here and have a look at what else is in here free shipping looks like a little bit of advertising on there Product warranty and a little booklet here which gives you some more info on how to set it all up and what to do. This is an unboxing anyway so we won't really go into that. Cables, let's just run through the cables quickly so you can see. Opening up. Okay so you've got a micro USB here which is really cool. Some more cables. Okay so what you've got here is you've got a micro USB as well but the difference is that it's got a female port here, so you can plug a USB into it, um, which is very interesting, as opposed to, say, this one that it had in there, which is micro USB to standard USB plug, This, which is male. This is the female version of that. So I'm assuming you can plug your different devices. Okay, and basically the other thing is you've just got your PowerPoint. What this is, is to allow you to plug in to here. And then plug that in and charge up the pendo pad okay guys so now having a look at the actual pendo pad i'm taking it out and here it is uh, it's not too bad it's quite nice quite slick does it have anything on it like a sticky thingy me jiggy uh, not on the back the back it's got like a matte feel to it plastic cameras right up there okay looking at the ports here this is where your sd card would go in also it takes up to 32 gig as i said and this is your hdmi port over here as well so SD HDMI on top of each other you've got your USB port that plugs in there okay and I'll just plug this in and just show you guys the USB port and there we are okay that has for your headphones so if you're listening to music uh, it does have the radio and this is power on and off button let's have a look around here we've got the camera on this end got your speaker over here nothing else that's it just to turn it around You've got your front facing camera on this end here as well. Okay, so let's see if it's got some juice. I'll press it down. Ah, oh, it does, which is good. And we'll peel off this bit. I love doing this stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Just waiting for it to boot. It is taking a little while. Might end up cutting in and out. Okay, guys, it's still booting up. Uh, it's been a while. <laughs> this can't be for real, right? Seriously, it takes this long to boot up. Am I doing something wrong? Am I meant to swipe? Okay, guys, I've been sitting here for literally uh, five minutes. 
Hi guys, and I'm back, and it's been a few days. Yes, it's been a few days. What's happened is the Pendo pad was faulty. It kept resetting over and over again. Try to master reset, didn't work. Now, this is the same Pendo pad 7. Only thing is they didn't have them in the color I wanted, which was black. But I went for the lime green. That was my other option. Pretty much the same thing, same paperwork in there, everything is exactly the same as what you've just seen before. The only thing we're gonna do is boot it up so you can see. And it actually comes with a protective screen. Okay, so I can peel that off as well. So you might see there's some bubbles here. Those bubbles are the protective screen that it, they give you as a bonus that comes with it. So that can be taken off as well if for any reason you don't like that or the bubbles bother you. Everything is exactly the same. There is no volume rocker on this, which I found really interesting. So stuff. So let's let's turn it on anyway. So here's the power button over here. We'll just hold that down. And, and there we go. It's come up the power. Now, there we go. As you can see here, it's up. Pretty much just slide across. This thing is amazing. I'm not kidding you. It's for $59, this little tablet, this, this thing is amazing. I've connected it to Wi-Fi. It all seemed to work well, no problem there. Went into sound, set up just some sound notifications, which were all cool as well. I display, I sort of mucked around a little bit with uh, the wallpaper. Sorry, the wallpaper here. It's got some really cool live wallpaper. Like, look at that. <laughs> it's, I don't know if it's justifying it, what you're seeing through there, but it's for a $59 tablet. This thing is amazing. That's all I can say. Really great. Now, just looking through, I set up sounds. It's battery life. It lets you set a percentage as well. It has a breakdown here. It's showing what uses what of the of the battery. Obviously language, location settings and security and all that lets you add your accounts, do printing, you can set the time. Like I said, I don't know much about Android, but just it's very self-intuitive. I have to admit I've already fallen in love with it. I've fallen in love with the way it works in terms of its snappiness. It's just fantastic, you know, and look at that. Okay, so I can bring in bookmarks and so forth. I won't do that now. Let's see what we get. Go. See how quick this loads up. I'm looking over the camera, so sorry about that if I've gone out of focus or anything, but wow, that's that's pretty good. I mean, look, I'm pretty impressed with this. That's all I can say. Just go back to home. Like I said, it's it's got everything here, the shortcuts. Um, has this got a mic on it? Ah, you could do a search. Okay, it's got the Google search option. YouTube. Hey, oh, there you go. <laughs> pretty cool. This, I think, is just your tabs and I guess you can close down the applications you've got open volume is up down on this side obviously this is your back bar to go and this is your home home button here you've got a, a player of some sort like iTunes which would be down here this is the player of some sort I'm not sure so Google store here your settings uh, that was sort of like a quick access I'm guessing to all your apps and things like that that you would have this would be your images I have none at the moment. Um, and this is your internet for browsing. Pretty good. Quick. I mean, I've got to connect to my Wi Fi, and this is your camera shortcut as well. That's pretty much about it, guys. If you have any questions about it, just post them in the comment section. I'll be happy to get back to any one of you. And if you know something about this that I don't, I'd love for you to share it. I'd really appreciate it, and so would anyone else. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, and I will be throwing up some more cool videos. I've got some more cool stuff coming. And also, you know, give me some uh, social media loving, Facebook, uh, Google+, Twitter, all that stuff, whatever. I'd appreciate it. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day or night, wherever you are.